All right, guys, continuing on with this uh, overview series, I'm just going to go through N's, through O's, and that'll be it. And then I'll do P, P, Q, and R's together, and so forth. So, lazy Sunday, so I figured I'd go ahead and make another video while I can. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and yeah, I'm going to go through the N's and the O's. Uh, no updates on the previous sections just yet, so that's cool. All right, there's a double feature for uh, a Naked Evil and Exorcism at Midnight, which I have yet to see either one of these movies. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that down here. Um, next is inspired by a true event, uh, Naked Fear. Which is okay, not a bad serial killer type of movie. There's another one based off True Event here, uh, Naked Massacre. I have yet to watch this one though, but it just looked at, uh, looked interesting. Another double feature of The Naked Witch and Crypt of Dark Secrets. Naked You Die. Um, the Navy versus. The Night Monsters, which is a fun one. Here's a very nice addition for uh, Near Dark. Um, I would still keep this if I were you, um, even if you do have the Blu-ray. Uh, it's just a, it just it out does the Blu-ray for now. You know, it's loaded with special features and everything. That's a really good um, Anchor Bay edition. Next is Necrophiles. That's a fun movie. I enjoyed that one. Um, Necromancer. I haven't seen this one in a while, but it's not as exciting as the cover art here would lead you to believe. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's got its moments. I like the way, if, if you can see that, I like the way she looks when she gets all demon looking. But, eh, schlocky stuff. Here's a pretty cool one I thought uh, was really cool that uh, Trauma released is uh, Necronos, the Tower of Doom. Um, so that's that. Um, Necrophile Passion. Have yet to watch this one though. The cover it drew me in. I've been getting a lot of these horror movies from Unearthed Films lately. Um, it's just been drawing me in. I'm not trying to be a completist of any label, but I don't know. I just I've, I've been liking every movie um, from that company so far. But, uh, ne uh, Necro, Necropolis, I'm probably saying that wrong, but anyway. Okay, movie. It's like an 80s time capsule, pretty much. Um, Needle, not bad. This one, um, it's got a unique way of how the killer goes about killing people. I like the way the box looks and everything, and how he... How the killer uses it to, um, you know, mess up the victims. Not a bad movie. It's memorable enough. So here's one I just thought was kind of boring. Um, I really need to go back and watch all of this. I didn't finish it. That's neither the sea nor the sand. Um, those of you who like your art, art, ugh, excuse me, art house horror might appreciate this. Um, it is done well. I just, it's very slow. Um, the Newly Deads. Fun one. Uh, New Year's Evil. I will definitely be upgrading. Um, so I'm excited for that. New Year's Evil is a fun one. I like it. Um, next of Kin. One that needs a, an official release is a bootleg. Nuzilla. Uh, Nezilla. The Rat Monster. This is a fun one. Um, Nightcaller from Outer Space. I have yet to watch this one. The Night Child. Um, another fun one. Night Feeders. Uh, the Night Flyer. I like this one. I love the way the vampire looks in this movie. Very unique. Um, the way the vampire is. And how he goes about flying around the airplane. I just think that's really original. It's a good, it's a cool movie. 
There's a double feature for, um, I'll be upgrading that to Night Game. And I got this mainly for um, Terror at London Bridge. It's got David Hasselhoff in it. <laughs> uh, Night Killer, which is sort of like a Nightmare on M Street uh, knockoff. I forget what country this is from, but um, pretty cool. Fun stuff. Here's one that I've always known it to be called Blood Rage, but it's also called Nightmare at Shadow Woods. Uh, very weird. Um, there's certain parts in this DVD that's not available in the VHS, and there's certain scenes on the VHS that's not available in the DVD. It's weird, but anyway, this really isn't an official release. This is like um, Legacy, so... I would like to see Blood Rage get like a, a really nice special edition. That'd be cool. Uh, cool Slasher. Uh, Nightmare Castle. Classic. Uh, I've yet to watch this. Just got it really not too long ago. Nightmare in Blood. Um, yep. Uh, Nightmare Man. Uh, Nightmares. I believe this goes by something else, but I don't remember. But Nightmares from the 70s. I think, not to be confused with this next one coming up, which is a, a pretty cool horror anthology, uh, Nightmares, um, long out of print, old Anchor Bay edition, um, horror movie documentary on American horror, uh, Nightmares in Red, White, and Blue, Night of Bloody Horror, I like it, it's pretty cool, um, check it out if you haven't already, um, if you like your schlock, uh, Night of Death, a really cool movie put up by Synapse. Um, eerie and a, a really unique, well, not really unique, but just a creepy, uh, one of the more creepy cannibal flicks that I can think of at the moment. Um, it sort of it's it sort of reminds me of, even though it's way better, but it kind of reminds me of a, um, an 80s movie that has yet to be put on DVD called Rest in Pieces. Um, but definitely much better than Rest, Rest in Pieces. But I, I actually like Rest in Pieces as well, also, because <laughs> it's really odd. But anyway, um, Night of the Blood Beast. Uh, double feature for Night of the Bloody Apes. Good stuff. And um, I have yet to watch this one. Um, of, of Feast... What is this? Feast of Flesh. Excuse me. Um, I do have a standalone older edition for Night of the Bloody Apes with um, much better cover art, in my opinion. Um, just got like a guy with his eyeballs being messed with. It's like hand drawn. It's pretty cool. Uh, I still keep that edition just really for the cover art. Um, next is um, Night of the Cover Woman. Right by Scorpion. Night of the Demon. A fun Bigfoot. Sort of a Bigfoot slasher kind of flick, hybrid sort of movie. That's fun, though. Uh, Night of the Demons Part 3 is the only sequel, as of now, to be put on Blu-ray. Uh, Night of the Lepus. Fun, giant, killer bunny flick. Um, Night of the Living Dead. This is the original Living Dead, put out by Elite. Um, I, love it. I love that it came in like a red case. Uh, really cool edition for DVD. Uh, there's a cool Night of the Living Dead documentary. This one's really unique, and it does stand out. I know there's a, a few Night of the Living Dead documentaries out there, but this one's a really good one. I, I liked it. So that's Birth of the Living Dead. Uh, Night School. I like the way the slasher looks in that one. That's, a, that's another fun slasher. Uh, Night Screams. I barely remember this one, though. I know I did watch it, though, but barely remember. I'm going to put that down here just to make it easier. Um, Night Trap. Another one I have yet to watch. Uh, this one, the VHS, definitely has better cover art. It's, if you can see that right there, it's kind of... That's what's used on the uh, cover art for the uh, VHS, I remember back then. But Night Visitor, that's a decent movie. It's not bad. Okay, um, Nightwing, a uh, really fun uh, killer bat movie, uh, Nikos the Impaler, uh, Nomads, I really like this one, this is a cool one, um, yeah, Nomads, 
Oh, I still have yet to watch this one. Um, no reason. I got some really good reviews as far as like being really gory. I just have yet to watch it. Um, the Norless tapes were really cool. I love the Norless tapes. Um, I have yet to watch this one. Um, the Nostril Picker. Uh, I think it's mainly known as the Ch the Changer, if I remember. Reversible cover. It says the Changer, but anyway, the Nostril Picker. Uh, nothing but the night. Slow burn. Very atmospheric movie. Um, I liked it. And an, uh, one of my favorites that I, I remember watching as a kid, and glad I came across a, a bootleg copy of it because I don't I honestly don't know when this would ever get put onto a legit DVD. And that's not of this world. Uh, not to be confused with the Roger Corman um, flicks. Not of this earth. Um, but really cool. Happy that I found. Happy that I have this on on disc. Uh, it's just one of my favorite sci-fi horror made-for-TV movies. I think it's like 1991. I just remember it coming on uh, NBC or ABC, one of those channels. But anyway, moving on. This is the last for now. And the ends is the Nun. Surprisingly, really fun uh, movie. Now on to the O's, and that'll be it for this video. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out this series of videos. I get to them when I can. Um, anyway, next is uh, a double feature for the Oblong Box and Scream and Scream Again. Very cool Vincent Price movies. I've only seen Scream and Scream Again. I have yet to check this one out. I know it's probably a crime, but I'll get to it. Um, a really cool one here, The Octoman. Awesome movie. Um, you just... I don't know, it's like you can't make movies like this anymore. Um, and if you do, it ends up being like a spoof or something. But I prefer the real the real Sherlock, Octoman. That's what I... I prefer the real stuff. Um, offerings. Um, of the Dead, another shockumentary. Really cheesy shockumentary. <clears throat> um... The Oily Maniac, I believe this is, um, I don't think, th I think this is region free, I can't remember, but The Oily Maniac is a fun one. Mm, I've always known this would be called the Mad Mutilator, um, but it goes by a gruff Mad Mutilator, I guess if I'm saying that right. Really cool, uh, low budget slasher movie, um, had to get it. This was fun, um, CGI is really... It's kind of weak, but the story itself, and I don't know, it's just a really fun movie. I thought it looked decent, though, the way the ogre looked. But anyway, ogre. Um, Omen, part four. Yeah, part four. It's a good one. The only one, I think, that has yet to be on DVD. I think it's a made-for-TV movie, if I remember. I could be wrong. Um, One Dark Night, this is a pretty cool edition, it even comes with like a, a if you got one of these editions, you, you were guaranteed to get like a, a snippet from a film cell, which is really cool, and um, something else, I can't remember, I don't feel like opening this up, but anyway, One Dark Night is a really fun movie, um, One-Eyed Monster, Ooga Booga, one of the latest full moon movies I couldn't resist, so glad to have Ooga Booga. Um, open House, uh, Opera, Dario Genzo's Opera, um, Blue Underground edition, mm, The Oracle, which is not too bad. I have yet to check this out. I think I grabbed this one because in order to get like some sort of a uh, really good discount on the other four movies that I grabbed, uh, I could grab one more and get a lower, you know, price, get a good deal. So I grabbed this one. I have no idea what it's all about. This synopsis seems pretty cool, but it's probably bad. It's called The Orb. Uh, yeah, I don't... I think I'm the only one on Earth that probably has that movie in my collection. Um, 
<laughs> I'm not bragging, trust me. Uh, Orca, Orca, the killer whale. This also goes by something else, I think. I don't remember. But anyway, Orca, the killer whale. Organ. Fun one. Organism. Not bad. Sort of like a um, bl uh, the blob kind of movie. Um, it was kind of fun. Organism. Orozco, the Embalmer. A really good documentary. Um, yeah. <clears throat> the Other Hell. This came in a box set with some other... I don't remember what the other two movies was, but this is part of a box set. That, that's why how I ended up with that one. Um, Out of the Dark. I think this is getting released, re-released. So that's cool if it gets onto like you know gets out of the made on demand. If it gets out of that, that'd be cool. Um, really cool zombie movie, Outpost. Here is a. Uh, I'm really glad to. I'm really glad to have this. Um, this is a double feature. That's a legit edition, a uh, autographed. Um, it comes with uh, Ozone, Attack of the Redneck Mutants, and the one of my favorites, The Abomination, which is an awesome movie. So, really glad to have this. Um, yeah. And last for now is Ozone, which is another fun. Um, a fun uh, low-budget um, horror movie about these drugs changing people into they're mutating them. Um, reversible cover art, but I like this one better. So, and that is it, guys. Ozone, ozone. Excuse me. That's the answer. The O's. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, take it easy. Later.